Welcome, this is Raisa, and I'll be guiding you through this lovely hip and shoulder opening flow today. You'll need a chair to start, and you can just place it right on your mat and have a seat, and we'll begin. Bring your hands to your ribs, and then just feel your breath. Imagine your diaphragm as a dome-shaped tent. And when you inhale, your diaphragm moves from the dome down to the floor. And when you exhale, your diaphragm moves up to take the shape of the dome of the tent. So it's moving from the dome to the floor and then back to the dome. And it's a little counterintuitive because as you inhale, your diaphragm is moving down to the floor. And maybe the floor spreads out a little bit. And as you exhale, it resumes the shape of the dome tent, the dome ceiling part. So see if you can visualize that and feel that in your own body. And then you can bring your hands to your lap and close your eyes and we'll just do five breaths like that. Inhaling to create the broad floor of the tent and exhaling to create the dome. And maybe you can imagine your tent somewhere beautiful right now, out in nature. Maybe you have sounds that support that around you, birds or other things. And we'll just take three more like that. Broadening and widening the floor of the tent. And then letting it go back to the dome. Just one more. And then we'll continue that domed breathing. But bring your right leg to cross over your left knee. So flex your right foot. This is like a figure four shape. And then cross your arms. Doesn't matter which one's on top really, but maybe the left one might be better over to the right knee. And then continue here with your diaphragmatic breathing. Broad floor and down. And then if you'd like, as you continue your breathing, you can start to hinge forward a little bit. Keep your right foot flat and just gently press down on both your heel and your knee. So you have your hands crossed holding on to either the ankle or the heel and the knee or somewhere that's available. If you're going to hinge, just give it a little pressure down and root your sit bones onto the chair. Then slowly come back up. Leave your left hand on the right knee and bring your right hand to the chair. Flex your right foot and press your right ankle down into the left foot, rooting into the twist. So just gently anchoring yourself with your right hand, breathe, diaphragmatic breathing, broadening the floor of your tent, even as you twist. And then come back to center and we'll switch sides. So we'll root that right foot down and root the left ankle on top of the right knee so it's all very grounded. And then cross. You're going to reach for the heel or ankle and knee. And then lift up nice and tall, breathe in, press down into your grounded foot and your left ankle. If you want, you can hinge forward a little bit. If you do, you're just gonna give it a little pressure down and root everything into the floor. Then diaphragmatic breathing. Just feel it. However much you wanna hold is up to you. Keeping the cross of the hands. Leave your right hand on the left knee and then bring the left hand around. Diaphragmatic breathing into your twist. So you're just going to continue that for three breaths. I'm just going to check the video. <laughs> Always need to do that. Take another full breath in and full breath out. Okay, great. Then come back to center. Reach your feet down, both feet. And then bring your hands to your forehead, you're gonna take your thumbs and just bring them right into the uh, bridge of your nose. And you feel your thumbs underneath 
the your eyebrows and then slowly trace underneath your eyebrows with your thumbs keeping the other fingers together until you get your fingers your thumbs into your temples and give yourself a little bit less there and then take it across and then we'll go a little faster breathe in diaphragmatic breathing breathe out breathe in breathe out and just go across your body at your own pace this just kind of organizes the energy in the body from Donna Eden, Energy Medicine. As you've heard of her. One more round. Now reach your arms out, up, touch overhead, and bring your hands to your heart. Interlace your fingers there, press forward, root your feet down, and lift up. Diaphragmatic breathing here. See how this feels to broaden the floor of the tent, and then dome your tent. Try to relax your shoulders, and just focus on the breath. One more right here. Release your hands down. Hold on to the back of your chair and just lift your chest up like you're doing a cow pose. Lift the chest, drop your head back, arch your back, breathe in. And then come on back and we'll bring your hands to your lap again. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder, breathe. And then as you exhale, we'll drop it down and over to the left. Breathe in. Drop it down and over to the right. Breathe in. And just using your breath to find this gentle half circle of the neck. And then just one more. And broaden your feet. Turn your toes out like you're doing almost like a horse pose here. And then you're gonna reach your hands for the floor. Try to root your butt onto your seat. Root your feet down. Lengthen your spine up like you're doing a halfway lift. And then fold in. Drop your head. Try to soften in your hip flexors and drop your head down. Breathe here. Feel your diaphragmatic breathing. Broadening the floor of your tent, drop your head. Let's see here, hi. Keep going. Okay, hopefully I got that right. Breathe. And then slowly turn this into ragdoll pose. You're gonna lift your butt up off your chair and turn your toes to face forward and then drop your head take your elbows and just like ragdoll swing a little side to side forward fold wide stance drop head drop shoulders and release your hands bring them to your back interlace your fingers there then roll your shoulders up and back, and we'll do another halfway lift here, trying to draw the shoulder blades together. Breathe in. Lift your hands up, and feel your diaphragmatic breathing here, real strong into the legs, into the glutes. And on an exhale, keep your bind, and we'll return to the fold. Option to bend your knees if you'd like. And then breathe here into this strong back of the shoulder stretch. Turn and peek over to the right a little bit. Straighten out your right leg, bend your left. And then return back to center. Still in your bind, just peeking over to the left. And then return one more time. Peek to the right. And then return to the left. Then release your hands to your lower back. And just gently slide your hands down the back of your legs all the way to your heels. Straighten out your legs, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. And toe heel your feet together. We'll slowly roll up to stand here. Bring your arms up overhead. Hold on to your left elbow with your right hand and bend over to the right. Diaphragmatic breathing here. Floor of the tent. And dome of the tent. Come on back to center. Switch elbows. Breathe in. 
breathe out. And then again, breathe in here, floor of your chin expands down. Breathe out. Coming back up to center, reach for the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. Then we'll remove the chair. We don't need it at the moment. And come back to your mat. You can face, let's say face one side of your mat. So that's the forward one side for me. Breathe in, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Just a very simple movement with the breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Bend your knees and roll up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to heart. Two more times on your own breath. So you'll be moving at your own pace. As you exhale, you drop in. The inhales usually lift the body. The exhales drop the body. And you just find the fluid movement that returns back to hands at heart. And then you'll do another one. Feel your just body just moving like water, moving through water. Rolling up to stand. Let's do just one more just to get that breath really moving into all the corners of your body, all the stuck parts. Just let the breath go. Be sure to roll up here so you're rolling through your spine. And then return to your hands in front space. Let's take a full breath in. <sighs> Side out. And let's find chair pose. I'll face you for a moment. Fill in your chairs. Reach your arms up overhead. If your shoulders feel tight at all, let's bring your hands to your heart space. Just gonna get into the legs for a moment. So you might just bounce it a little up and down so it feels very visceral and alive, not stuck at all. So just bouncing in your chair from one day a little side to side. That's always fun too. I like to do this with music, but we can't use music for licensing reasons. A lot of people have asked about that. And essentially, um, it's a problem because someone else owns the music. Bouncing. One more breath in. And breath out, doming your tent. Then inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Ah. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, come to your high plank pose. And shift forward and back in high plank. Just waking up the upper arms here. Really try to get the upper arms and the upper back to take the load of this pose rather than your shoulders. So rather than your shoulders hunching forward, you really want to pull your neck nice and long. Get the shoulder blades on the back and activate your legs as well. Breathing, shifting. Return the knees to the floor. Inhale to cow. And exhale cat. Moving this on your own timing of breath. Let's do about three more. Just finding the range of motion in your spine. You don't need to force it to see where your breath goes where it takes you. And then one more. Curl toes under. Draw your shoulders back and your heart in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take your dog for a little walk here. Just finding your way in. Moving it around a little. And then eventually Find a still downward facing dog where you can feel your diaphragmatic breath. So if you missed the beginning, diaphragmatic breath is as you breathe in, your diaphragm moves down to create the floor of your tent, your dome tent. And as you exhale, it moves back up to the ceiling of the dome. Continue that for three more breaths in your down dog. Feeling the diaphragmatic breath moving in the still shape of the pose. And then on your next inhale, just lift your right leg up. Lift it up, 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 up. Bend your knee, open your hip. Move that around. Breathing with the movement. Right leg is high. Moving it around, opening your hip. You can take little circles with your knees. And then just reach your right leg back up again. Press the floor away with your hands. 
Lift your left heel up, lower it down. Lift your left heel up, and then return your right toes to the floor so both heels are lifted, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg. You bend your knee, open your hip, move it around a little bit, either going a little more into the twist or taking the circles. Whatever helps you feel a little unstuck in the hips, a little less stuck there. Breathe in. Lift your heels. You're going to square off your hips again. Lift your right heel. And then lower your left toes down to the floor. Inhale, lift your heels up forward. Exhale, step or tiptoe or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, roll up to rise, and back to standing, palms touched. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Set your hands and step back. Inhale, shift forward, feeling really strong here. Then lower all the way to the floor. You can start with your knees. Take it down. Inhale, baby cobra pose. You can keep your toes on the floor. Your hands don't really help out too much here. Just grounding and pushing forward a little bit to lift your heart up with your back muscles. Breathe in. Exhale, lower down. Draw your hands behind you, palms face down. Inhale, half locus. Spread your toes out on the floor and lift your chest without your hands. Breathe in. Exhale, release to the floor. Interlace your hands behind your back. Tuck your tail a little bit here just to get that grounding. And then inhale, locust pose. Lift the chest up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together like you did in that ragdoll. And release. Bring your hands back to the floor, tabletop pose. Inhale, cow pose, curl your toes under. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg reach up. Bend and step, press down with your right hand. Breathe in. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose, curl. Inhale, lift your right leg with square hips. Exhale, draw your right knee to your left elbow. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step through between your hands, heel and toe. Bring your back knee down. You can be tucked under, we'll just be here for a moment. Lift up, breathe in. And then bring your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers here. Inhale, lift your chest up like we did in locust pose. Lift, squeeze shoulder blades together, look up, root down into both feet. Lift your chest, breathe in. Exhale, return your hands to the floor. Re-engage re your back leg and look forward, breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift chest halfway. Exhale, fold in, bend your knees. Roll up the stand. Inhale, reach up, touching back into your heart. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. However you want to get there. Breathe. Wrap your outer arms in and under the body to free your shoulders and your chest. Inhale. Lower all the way in. Inhale, baby cobra pose. Exhale, lower. Stretch your arms back. Inhale, half locust. Lift chest up, up, up. Exhale, lower. Interlace hands. Inhale, locust pose, bound style. Exhale, release. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose here. Ah. Roll a little side to side. Breathing in, breathing out. And then steady your child's pose. And focus on the diaphragmatic breath. Pulling your breath down. Your diaphragm spreads out like the floor of a tent. As you exhale, it gently returns to the dome shape underneath your ribs. And just find that feeling of diaphragmatic breathing in your child pose. Two more breaths. One more. And 
Come on up to all fours. And then bring your hands in front of you. Try to keep your hips over your knees. We're going to drop down into puppy dog pose. So maybe you get your elbows down on your forehead, or maybe you're just getting your elbows down today. Just see where you can get here with puppy dog. It's more or less like, like what your puppy dog does when it, he or she stretches their paws out, sticks their butt up in the air, and kind of reaches the chest to the floor. So you feel that sense of heart to the floor. Breathe there, diaphragmatic breathing even there. Challenging, but still doable to feel. Your breath more spreading at the floor rather than spreading at the chest. One more full breath in, full breath out. Then come up just a little bit so you can bring your palms together, your elbows together, and return your forehead to the floor and bend your elbows. And the hands come to the back of your neck here. And try to slide your elbows forward, getting a little bit more into the upper back. So maybe your hands don't go all the way to your neck and they just stay up, that's okay. Even if your head doesn't touch the floor, that's okay too. Just working on the shoulder blades softening into the back. Feel your diaphragmatic breathing, one more. And then we'll slowly come back up. Tabletop to downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. And inhale, lift your heels up forward, really ground your hands. Exhale, bend your knees, step or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, lift the chest. Exhale, fold in. And chair pose again. Inhale, reach your arms alongside your ears or your hands at your heart space. Breathe here. Three full breaths. Wherever you are, the hands is fine. You might move it up and down a little bit to just keep the pose alive. One more breath. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Working to wrap your shoulders under, shift forward. Now you can go all the way to the floor. You can drop your knees. Or you can work on the slow-mo halfway down. Chaturanga Vinyasa. That's where it is. Elbows over the wrist. Then your heart peels forward as you drag your shoulders down. Legs press into the mat with your feet. And then come back to all fours, tabletop pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, your right leg high, reach it up. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cross, touch to right elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step through. Rise up to full crescent lunge, reach up and breathe. Hold a moment. Then take your elbows and try to drag your heart up with your elbows. So rather than back, we're just going to close the ribs a little bit and just gently drag the heart up. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, return your hands to the floor. Inhale is high plank. And then you can choose either this vinyasa or going to the floor and taking any one of those back strengthening postures we did earlier. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, cross it over. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Lift it up one more time. Use your fingertips into the mat for stability, and then step through. Bring your back knee down, lift up, crescent moon. Squeeze your inner thighs together for a moment. Breathe. Get nice and stable in your legs, and then bring your hands behind. Take the opposite cross of your fingers than you usually take. 
Bend the elbows and then roll the shoulders up and back. Start to lift your heart up. Have a sense of closing in front of your ribs, but then arcing the spine. Breathe in, look up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Root your hips into the midline for stability. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bring your hands back to the mat. Inhale, high low lunge to activate your back leg. Look forward. Exhale, forward fold, step in. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Bend your knees for chair pose one more time. Either hands up or hands at heart. Breathe and feel. Movement a little bit in your body. Just digging into your legs, just feeling the groundedness. One more breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to mid plank or to the floor. Upward facing dog or cobra or any of those back bends. Returning to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, just cross your body. Try to find the twist at your core strength. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. And then step through. Coming out to caress the lunge rise. Breathe. Back knee in bed here. That's fine. Just want to feel stable and grounded on both legs. Then bend your elbows and just take a hold. Just notice if you get flared ribs here, just for a moment, let's close the front of the ribs and have the sense of the heart and rib cage sliding up the back. So just getting a little longer through your spine. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Your choice if you want a vinyasa. If you do, elbows do right over the hands. Downward facing dog. Where you come through that tabletop that we did earlier to return to down dog. Three breaths there. Move it around. Slide your hips a little side to side and walk your dog. One more full breath. And breath out. Inhale, lift your heels and look forward. Exhale, bend your knees and step or float top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, chair pose. We're digging the chair today. If you're getting a little lower each time, bring your hands here. Just getting as low as you can here. And you might want to use your hands for scaffolding, or if not, you can reach your hands forward. We're going to boat pose, so if you know you can't get there, you might want to bring your hands back. Otherwise, we're just going, 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 gone. Boat pose. Let's try a modified boat with the shins parallel to the floor. You could hold on to the backs of the thighs. In particular, to get the length of spine, the freedom of your neck in this pose here. You can look a little side to side, right to left. Just to know that you're free in your upper body, and your strong central channel core is holding this or you can hold also with your hands. So if you let go, you don't want to collapse in the upper body at all. Let's just let that be free and then operating. And then if you straighten out the legs, it's just coming from your core that the legs straighten out. Yeah, but they don't have to. And you can play with straightening, rebending, straightening. One more breath in. Exhale, release. We'll come to seated. And then find a little twist like we do when we're on the chair. Just twist into the legs. Breathe in, diaphragmatic floor of tent. Exhale, dome of tent. Inhale, back to center, nice broad floor. Exhale, other side, and then we'll breathe two full rounds of breath here. Then roll onto your backs. And set up for bridge pose, we'll do a, a bound bridge, starting with the hands down by your side, palms face up. Press down into your upper arms, so 
So you almost feel a little dome behind your heart here before you lift up. Then press into your feet and lift your heart. You don't have to lift the hips up as high as they'll go because that often jams the tailbone up. So instead, just kind of think about lifting the center of your spine, your thoracic spine, up to the sky. There's a little gentle arc downward through your glutes and through your shoulders and start to work your hands underneath the body. Maybe you get your fingers to your heels and that's good. Keep externally rotating the shoulders so your elbows start to point outward away from your body. You can stay with that. Or you can turn your hands inward and bring the palms together. Interlace fingers there. And then we'll work on dropping the tail and lifting the ribs. Internally rotate your thighs. Drop your tail, lift your ribs, and press down to the upper arms. One more. Breath here and release. Hug your knees into your chest and gently rock a little side to side. Then draw your knees by your armpits and find happy baby pose. Take it for a little rock. Breathing, rocking, breathing, rocking. If you want, you can spread the legs out or one at a time. Peter Pan style. One more breath in your happy baby. Root your sacrum down. Pull into the feet, but press your feet in your hands and then release. And we'll rock and roll forward and back. You can do your rock and roll vinyasa, if you know what that is. Or just get back to downward facing dog. Your vinyasa will just hop back from here. And then there we are, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, lift your heels, look forward. Bend your knees, step, or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift chest. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, hands at your heart. Then we'll pick the right leg up and over, figure four chair. So before we have the chair to support us, the actual chair, now we just have our own strong thighs. It's one-legged chair pose. Breathe. Feel, press down into the right leg to lift your heart up a little bit more. Then sink your hips down. Breathe. Stand focus. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, chair pose. Draw your hands to your heart space. Left leg goes up and over. Breathe, flex the foot. Real strong, press down into your left leg, rooting into the right, strong, grounded foot. Then lift your chest a little. So you're long through your spine and then sink your hips. So you're not sinking chest, just hips. Flex that left foot. Breathe and focus. Inhale, mountain pose, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, move through your vinyasa if you like. So you know this is totally optional. But if you do it, you want to do it with the alignment. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, right leg floats up. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose and then step through. Inhale, warrior one. Back foot goes down, reach up. Exhale, lean in a little bit. Long, extended warrior one. Root your back heel down and back. Internally rotate your thighs as you draw your arms down and back. Inhale, float your arms up. Overhead, alongside the biceps, still looking down. Exhale, arms down and back. With your spine, ideally, in line with your back leg as you find this rotation of the arms. Down and back. One more lift and forward. Exhale, down and back. Interlace your fingers here. Inhale, lift your chest up now. Bow more your one. Inhale, keep going. Lifting the chest, squeeze your shoulder blades. Keep going. Get into as much of a heart opening. Bow more your one as you can. Breath in. Exhale, humble warrior. Root into your back foot as you make the transition of folding forward. Right shoulder can be on the right thigh, that's fine. Breathe in, breathe out. 
Trying to find a softness in the upper body supported by the rootedness of your legs and feet. One more breath in. Breath out. Release your hands down, start to peek forward. Inhale, warrior two. You adjust your back foot now so it's a little more open toward me. <laughs> Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, warrior two. Feel your hamstrings now. Inhale, root right heel, reverse triangle. Warrior two. One more, reverse, straightening the front leg. Exhale, warrior two. Bring your hands to your hips here. Root your hips down. Then reach your back hand back and slowly tilt into extended side angles. You can use your right hand to feel the tilt in your right hip. So rather than just rain going over, we're gonna try to tilt the hip back a little bit there to find the angle. And then you can rest the front arm on the front thigh. You can bring your left hand to the back of your head and just open through the elbows. Tuck your tailbone a little bit here if you're doing that. So it's really like the ribs are just turning open a little bit on the spine. So it's just a tiny twist in the thoracic spine. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, star pose. And turn your toes in. Heels out, draw your arms out to the side and then fold forward, Prasarita Padottonasana. Facing the side of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, peek forward a little bit. Exhale, fold in. Now you can hold your hands right underneath your shoulders or take your heels or ankles and fold in. Try to release the weight of your head so your neck muscles soften and you feel a little bit the gravitational pull of your head down. Find your diaphragmatic breathing here. If you like to do a tripod headstand, you can do that here. That's uh, just optional for anyone who really feeling that need. Otherwise, you're already upside down, so it's good. Inhale, lift your chest, walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Turn your toes outward from your heels. You're going to spin on your heels a little bit. Then bend your left leg. You can walk your hands over to the side. You can also bring them out like wings. So you can keep the hands on the floor as we transition. And bend right leg. Both heels stay on the floor. You can flex your left heel if you want. But both feet on the floor. And then we'll go back and forth with the breath. Inhale, either hands down. Exhale, right leg, left leg bends. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, right leg bends. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend. Inhale, center. Happy hamstrings. Really feeling their worth at this party. One more round. Ah. Then we'll go back to Prasarita, coming into the center. Turn your toes in. Fold in. Then inhale, rise all the way back up. Spin on your right heel so your right toes face forward. Exhale, triangle pose. So this goes through this and reach and lift. You can also bring the right hand to the hip crease to feel that tilt until you finally get into your triangle pose. So how high your torso is really depends on how much mobility you have right here in your right hip. Yeah, so if you're getting all the way down here, it's because you've got a lot of stretch through there. Otherwise, this is triangle pose and it's, it's perfect. Breathe in and breathe out. Let your heart go free, right from the center of your heart, through your hands. Breathing, feeling free, strong legs holding you here. You can also support yourself with your bottom hand on your front leg. Breathe. One more full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, we rise to warrior two. Keep it moving, reverse warrior, front leg stay bent. Exhale, cartwheel hands to the floor. You can move your vinyasa. Here's your alignment, elbows over the hands. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg reaches up. 
Exhale, knee to nose, and then step through. Warrior one, set your back foot down wherever it will support you to rise on two strong legs. Arms up overhead. Exhale, lean in. Breathe in, lengthen heel to hand. Exhale, arms down and back. Just moving in here to root into your legs, your glutes. Moving with your breath. Inhale, floor of tent. Exhale, dome of tent. Two more. And one. And we'll inhale. Uh, inhale, take your hands behind you. Opposite clasp of hands. And then we'll come back to Bound Warrior One. Inhale, have that sense of lifting your heart up along the spine. Exhale, squeeze shoulder blades together and just start small. Just find your way in. Have this visualization of your spine gently arcing and curving backward over the strong stance of your legs. Inhale, breath. Exhale, humble warrior. Coming back through the transition. Very aware of where you are in space. And then here, root into your back heel. Try to free your arms a little bit away from your back. Rooting into the heel helps you stretch and soften through your lower back. Drop your head. One more breath in. Exhale, hands come to the floor. Just peek forward a little bit. And then inhale up to warrior two. Adjusting your back foot. So I'm facing behind now, so you can see that angle of the pose. Breathe. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Reverse triangle. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, move it open. Exhale, warrior two. One more. Inhale, move it open. Exhale, warrior two. Bring your hands to your hips. So rooting your hips down now. Really feeling that root down. So you can lengthen up through the crown of your head. Back hand goes back. And then just find this tilt here. It's this really viscerally feeling your range of motion to angle your torso in line with your back leg. Coming into rest there. And then your arm can match. A little tuck of tailbone helps you feel rooted into your back heel and your front foot. And then coordinating that, just a little sense of openness across chest, and a little turn of your ribs. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, horse. So we'll turn the toes out, keep them out, and sit down. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse. Great place to feel the diaphragmatic breathing. Inhale, floor of tent. Exhale, dome of tent. Inhale, floor. Exhale, dome. One more. Star. Horse and hold. If you want, close your eyes. You can move it around a little bit. You're feeling grounded through your legs. If you want, you can lift your heels. Breathe. Steady. One more breath in. Exhale, lower the heels down. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, we'll turn your left foot to face forward and your right foot in a little bit, preparing for triangle pose. Inhale, breath. Exhale, start the journey by finding length through the left side. Spread your hands away from one another and then gently, softly move into your triangle pose. Wherever your bottom hand is, is perfect. Breathe in, tuck your tail just a little bit, root into both feet, and just feel the dental turn of your heart space as you spread the hands apart from one another. Breathe there, three breaths. Steady, full breaths. Just checking what's going on. All right, we're still here. One more full breath in and full breath out. Hi, y'all. And slowly rise up again to star pose. And then warrior two. 
Inhale, review. Verse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel your hands to the floor. Chaturanga or no chaturanga. If you do it, pay attention to the alignment. Elbows in. And it's like a push-up into up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, breath. Exhale, just walk your dog. Walk, walk, walk. All right, walk your hands back just a little bit so you're in a short dog. Bring your left hand to your right ankle or the outer part of your right thigh. Pull your belly up and in, wrap your right upper arm in and then peek underneath your right armpit. Root both heels toward the floor and breathe. Diaphragmatic breathing. One more breath. Exhale, release. Root your left hand down. Same thing here. You're going to be in a three limbed down dog. The right, right arm is free. And you bring it to somewhere on your left leg that you can reach. Wrap your left upper arm in. So it's working inward. And press down into the floor to find length through the left side. And then if you want, you can peek under. Staying as even in the hips and the feet as you can. And breathe, just into sensation. And then bring the hands back. We'll do another version of three limb dog. Still staying in a fairly short dog, so not as long as you usually have it. Lift your right leg up. Bend your right knee. Then slowly work on releasing the left hand. Oh, it's two limb dog, whoa. Try to get the right foot with your left hand, if you can. Same wrap under of the right arm, focus, and kick back. Focus. Try again if you fall out, it's all right. Woo! And then we'll return to the shorter dog. Lift your left leg up. Wrap your hips into the midline too. Squeezing those glutes into the midline kind of anchors you there when you don't have the foot. And then slow mo, you just try. You might have to try a whole bunch of times. You may not get it today, and you might have to fish around. Where's my foot? Ooh, if you get it, it's like focus. Squeeze into the midline and kick back. Ooh. One more breath in. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift your heels, and then just tiptoe forward. We're gonna to try to stay as tippy-toe as you can, as long in your arms as you can, to ragdoll. Now once you're in ragdoll, turn your toes outward from your heels and have a seat, just squat down. So you can stay high here, like football huddle style squat, or you can get down into malasana. And if you do that, you can squeeze your inner thighs in towards your elbows as you press your elbows out into the thighs. So you have a good connection there. Breathe. And get up on the hands here for a moment before we wind down. So squeeze in. And with a squeeze of your knees into your elbows, you're just going to release your hands. And then tip this shape onto the floor. So your heels will come up. Toes stay on the floor. There you are. There you are. Just tipped onto your elbows. Still squeeze those knees into your elbows. That's really important. And then shift your heart forward, just like you do in Chaturanga. And that might allow you to tip your feet up off the floor for flying froggy. And some of you can go into curler's pose from here or other things. And return back to Malasana. Ooh, those outer hips really do some work there. Ragdoll pose. Hands back to the floor, turn your toes in. Drop your head, take your elbows, and slide a little side to side. And drop your hands down, and we'll come onto our backs. Actually, before we go onto our backs, let's take a seat, bring your hands behind you, and we'll do reverse tabletop. So you want to press into your hands, press into your feet, and then looking toward your knees, lift your hips up. And if you want, you can bring your gaze to the sky, or you can keep looking forward, or you can drop your head back, just 
paying attention to the transition to see how your neck feels. Use your hamstrings now to lift up. Flare your toes up off the floor. And then release. Bring your legs forward. It's the last thing we'll do before we go on to our backs is a little forward fold, Pachimottanasana style. Knees can be bent if you prefer, or lengthened and flexed. You can bring your hands behind you to start. You might even stay here just lifting your chest and feeling that stretch. Or you can begin to work your hinge with your hands behind you. Flex your feet, lift your heart, and feel your diaphragmatic breathing. So as you breathe in, the floor of the tent lowers down and broadens, and then your diaphragm goes back to the dome of the tent. And eventually you might work your hands forward or cross your elbows or support yourself somehow in this forward fold in whatever way feels supportive to you. So if you feel any tension in your lower back, you want to drop your head, you want to bend your knees a little, maybe wrapping your arms under. And breathe a sense of the diaphragm breathing down as low as possible, the floor of the tent. And slowly roll up. And we'll come down to our backs now, holding on to the back of the thighs. You can use your core, roll it down, hug your knees in. A little rock side to side. We'll do one more bridge pose. Option to take it all the way up into the bound bridge or just stay with this little bridge. When you stay with the little bridge, you have the sense of the ribs closing in to the midline so that the arc of your spine can actually lengthen. And then rather than jamming your tailbone up with your glute muscles, you want to still use the glute muscles, but feel your hips rotating inward, inner thighs rotating inward. And there's still a curve down, directionally down, in your tailbone to create the arc of the bridge. You can stay here, you can interlace it, or you can bring your hands up and back and turn this into a full wheel pose. I do it on my wrist because of uh, former wrist stuff that I want to re-aggravate. But it's the same idea. You see when you're in your full bridge, your full wheel, your tailbone needs to arch toward the floor. So you want to set that up for yourself in your bridge pose. We'll all roll down. And then once you wipe your legs right and left, bring your feet out as wide as the mat so you have space for the inwardly dropping knee to drop as you go side to side. And then we'll pause on the right side when both knees are facing to the right. It's kind of like you're, you're creating like a Keith Haring type of figure with your body. Flat cartoon figure on the floor. If you want, you can take your right ankle and place it above your left knee. Just adds a little load to the internal groin stretch on your left hip. Not necessary, but And then we'll bring it back to center. Both feet have to stay toward the outer edge or even off the edge of your mat in order to find this kind of Keith Haring uh, shape as you drop your knees to the left. Option to stay here or add left foot on right outer knee. And then where you're going to feel that is in the groin and maybe all the way up into your ribs up under in the ribs there, all the way through the inner line of the leg. So nice. Try to soften where you can soften. And then we'll return back to center. Broken bridge pose. Feet wide, knees knocked together. And then you can bring your hands onto your torso and feel your breath. And then bring your feet together, hug your knee, your right knee into your chest, pick your nose up, try to touch your nose to your knee, and then lengthen your left leg out, lift up, 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 curl your tailbone, lift, lengthen, and then lower in, 
You may stretch your right leg to the sky and hold the back of the thigh somewhere. Press your heel forward and then gently pull the leg in a little bit. Wherever you're holding on is fine. Knee can be bent too. Then re-bend the knee. Take your left hand to your right knee and your right hand out to the side and we'll go over into a supine twist. You can keep your left hand on the right thigh. You can also just kind of scoot your shoulders a little bit more to the left to kind of ease this twist in a little bit. And then take three more diaphragmatic breaths in this twist. One more, and then roll on back. Hug both knees in, you're gonna hold on to the left. Curl your nose up towards your left knee, stretch your right leg out, flex the foot, and try to curl up and in as much as you can, and tuck your tail, curl, curl, curl. And then lower right leg down, lengthen the left leg up, you can hold back anywhere there. Press initially away from you with the leg, and then pull it in a little bit, take a breath in, re-bend the leg, right hand to left knee, and you're going to slowly turn yourself into your supine twist. Often just slide your shoulders, the whole shoulder girdle more to the right, and that will get free the twist through the waist a little bit more, and then you have five full breaths there. Just your own breath. Last thing before we lay it down for Shavasana. One more full breath in. <sighs> Sigh it out and release to your final rest. Listen. 